Hello and welcome to today. This is Maxine Davis Spirit Mean and you are joining me on Happy Blues Singer Blog. Today I've been thinking about outcomes, the outcomes in my life. And years ago I received this, well it was in a workshop and we got some information about six areas in life, a way to evaluate the different areas of your life. Um, the six of them being spiritual, educational, um, social, family, physical, and financial. Not necessarily in that order. Um, but what, what I started doing this, this morning, well, I've been doing it on and off, but really this morning, focusing on my outcomes and evaluating, okay, Maxine, how are you doing spiritually? How have you grown? Because here's the thing. When you take ownership for your life and you say, this is my life and I am the one who's creating my outcomes, then I am the one who's responsible for changing things if, if I'm not happy with how they are. If they're not working for me, if they're not being progressive and productive and if it's not peaceful and joyful and full of happiness and I like that. So, with that in mind, I was evaluating my, uh, my spiritual life. My spiritual life is growing. I've done some major changing in my thinking in terms of, of spiritual things that has really allowed me to move forward in my life in an amazing way. Educational. I'm learning things on topics that I was unaware of, things that are new to me, and that is helping me to grow. Um, uh, <laughs> socially, I've connected with our senior center because I have tended to be kind of a loner, but I'm connecting more with people and, and it, it's fun. I'm meeting new people. I'm learning things from them. I'm sharing things with them and that's good. It's good for us to connect with others. Um, family, I've consciously began to reconnect with family members on the physical over the past two years, um, I've been more disciplined with my body and I've decreased its size and still doing that, decreasing the size and improving the health. And then lastly, financially. Financially, I now have some information that I can tap into. I have some supports that uh, can help me and are helping me to do the things that I need to do in order to increase my finances at a level that <laughs> I desire. For me, the financial has been the, the greatest challenge, but it's been the greatest challenge because there were so many things that were hindering it before. My spiritual life, what I was believing was hindering my financial um, progress, my education. There were things I didn't know that were hindering me from increasing my, my finances, um, my social life, not allowing myself to connect, to, to, to be out there, to intermingle. So I missed opportunities because I wasn't there. With home and family, there, there are gifts and talents, uh, there are interactions that I need to have with my family that I haven't been having. So that's, that's changing. Uh, physically, not, previously not feeling as energetic as I should have and not having the, not really having the strength, but by improving that health now, I, I can do stuff now and I'm gonna do more. All of those things prepare me with a mindset, with an emotional set, with a physical set to move forward financially and create the type of finances that I need. Now I'm gonna say this and you might say, girl, you have lost your mind. But this is what I believed for a long time and, and I believed it with faith and I'm believing it more with, with action now. That I am one of the wealthiest persons to ever live because I have something that money can't buy. I have peace in my mind, joy in my heart, and a purpose for my life. My purpose has become more clear. And I think that is allowing me to, to believe that with, with an action, doing things to bring it into the, the tangible world. So, in closing today, I know this was a little long, outcomes. I create my outcomes. I looked at my different areas of life 
making the changes necessary to bring about the outcomes that I desire. That's where I am. That's what I'm doing. I've shared it with you and encouraging you to do what you need to do to bring about the outcomes in your life that you're looking for. All right. Have a wonderful, <laughs> have a wonderful today and a happy today. See you next time.